hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to solve this given quadratic inequality and eventually we are going to graph it on a real number line let's look at this inequality we see that the leading coefficient is a negative number we want to make it a positive so let's go ahead and multiply this inequality by negative sign across the board once you multiply that's going to become negative and negative become positive 2x square this is going to become negative 11x and this become minus 6 and when you look at this inequality when you multiply by a negative sign you switch it you reverse that inequality put it the other way around that's gonna go this way and then you're gonna put it zero so this is our new inequality and in this step as you can see on the right hand side this is our new inequality from the previous step now to keep things simple and easy i wanna ignore this inequality symbol and instead i put an equal sign over here so that's going to make our job a lot easier so let's go ahead and solve this quadratic equation now for x and we can see that we can easily we can go ahead and we can factor this one out the possible factors are so you can factor it or you can use a quadratic formula there are many many different ways you can do it but try to take advantage of the easiest step easiest kind of method try easier one so equal to zero so what we're gonna have is 2x plus 1 and over here is gonna be x minus 6 these are our factors now we're going to split them up so 2x plus 1 equal to 0 and here x minus 6 equal to 0 so if you move this one on the other side become negative 1 so 2x equal to negative 1 i want you to divide both sides by 2 so x equals to negative 1 over 2 is one of your x value and here x equal to 6 is your another x value and in this step i have put my inequality symbol back as you can see over here and these are our x values from our previous step so now we are gonna graph this inequality but before we do this one I want to tell you whenever you have a, this kind of inequality symbol we're gonna have a open circle just keep in your mind and here I have put down info for you and now next we're gonna be now graphing this one on a real number line and here's a real number line and let's go ahead and look for negative 1 over 2 negative 1 over 2 means it's gonna be between 0 and over here it's gonna be open circle right up here you can see it is between 0 and negative 1 and on this side is gonna be simply 6 it's right up here and now one more thing I want to tell you whenever you have this kind of less than symbol that means it's going to represent in between always remember in between so that means it's going to be in between means you're going to just simply fill out the in between part just bear with me so we are most guarded okay so this is our graph and the x is gonna be in between negative 1 over 2 and 6 so far so good so that's we're gonna go ahead so essentially our solution is gonna be same one so so this is our graph by the way we already did this one and our solution is going to be once again i'm going to put it down 
over here since this is an open circle so I'm going to put down negative 1 over 2 on this side and over here is going to be 6 and that is our solution. Now you might be wondering why this graph is going to be in between, why not in the opposite direction. So let me give you a justification. And I want you to look at this graph over here. This is an x-axis and this graph represents this quadratic function. So you can look over here our inequality states less than. Less than means it's going to be below x-axis. Always remember. So below x-axis is only this part. We are restricted to only this part. As you can see over here. So no wonder our graph is going to be only this part as you can see over here. So that's the reason it's in between. So we put it down over here. And finally, we want to put our solution in terms of set notation. So we can really easily, we can do that one. As you can see over here, we can put down x such that x is going to be in between negative 1 over 2 and 6. That's all we got. And for interval notation, that's going to be it's going to be a negative 1 over 2 and 6 over here and the parentheses on both sides. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.